Hi there. Welcome back to the 22nd video learn excel with Karpagam. In this video we will learn how to work with the date function. Though there are so many date function available in this video we will consider only four important function. Let's get started. I have taken day, weekday, week number and workday function. I am going to look into the day function at last because this is going to be the best and weekday week number and workday let's take it one after the other. When we talk about a weekday this particular function returns us what day of this particular date is. Say for example I am interested to find out 1st of July falls on which day. Is it Monday or is it Friday, Saturday or Sunday which day it is. So this weekday function will help us what I am going to do. Let's go and take the weekday function. It has got two syntax one is serial number the other one is a return type. Serial number is the date comma I want to spend some time on the return type. When you look at number 1, 2 and 3 1, 2 and 3 was available in 2003 and 2010. After 2010 onwards, number starting from number 11 till 17 was introduced from 2013 onwards. When we look into this particular function, what happens exactly here is, let's say majority of the countries follows a work pattern of Monday through Friday and Saturday, Sunday is a weekend. And similar here, 0, 0 starts on Monday and ends on 6th of Sunday. And here 1 starts on Sunday through 7 on Saturday. When you look into countries like Egypt, Iraq, Israel, Jordan, Kuwait, Saudi, all these countries works on Saturday to through Thursday and they take Friday and Saturday as a weekend. When you look into Palestine, they work from Saturday to Thursday and Friday they take it as a holiday. So when we look into this particular scenario, each and uh, every country follows a different pattern of the weekend. There it will be very helpful for us to understand. It's not only country specific. So for example, there are certain teams which takes the weekends on a different day. Let's say they work it, uh, they take the weekend on Monday and Tuesday, which means they will be working through Wednesday and Tuesday. And you can look at it Thursday to Wednesday. So they decide accordingly and we can use those days to refer this particular day is going to be this one. Let's get started. So in this scenario, I am going to use the reference number 2, which means Monday through Sunday we are working in. Monday to Friday is the weekday and Saturday and Sunday is a holiday. So the return type is I am looking for 2. When I click on it, you can see 1 is Monday. The reference type what we have taken is 1. 2, 7. 1 is Monday and 7 is Sunday. When I just drag it down, you will be able to see the numbers coming in. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Again, 8th of Monday is 8th of July is a Monday. 9th of July is a Tuesday. So this will be, able, you will be able to find out. And as soon as you work with the weekday, let's go on to the week number. What is that week number? Let me first complete it and explain you. Let me go and use the week number function. What is the serial number? I am going to take this particular date, comma, and what is the return type that I am looking for? So here also we have used the return type 2. Let me go and take 2, close the bracket and enter. What is this 27? You may be wondering what is this 27, 28, 29? When you look into the calendar, you will be able to understand it. The 27 refers to the week of this particular year. 1st July till 7th July belongs to 27th week. 8th July till 14th July belongs to 28th week. Starting from 5th July, it belongs to 29th week. Earlier scenario, all of us have been doing this manually. With using week number, you will be able to find out for any given day, what is that particular week. Even at the past date, you can find out and at the future date also, you can find out. Let's move on to the next one, work day. When it comes to the work day, this is predominantly used when we want to know the start and end date of a particular project. Let's say, let me go and start with the birthday function. What is the start date of this particular project? Let's say first is the start day of this particular project, comma, how many days we have allocated for this particular task or for this particular project to get over, let's say eight days, which means for one plus eight, you will be expecting it should get you the results of nine, but it's not going to be. I will explain you why it is. What is this number 43657? You may be wondering. This is one such area I want to have your focus here. If at all you come across this, don't panic. What exactly happened is this particular cell reference is general one and we wanted a date function here. So go to your number box at the home tab. 
go and click on this and click on a short date when you click on a short date it comes in terms of a numerical and when you click on a long date it comes in terms of the month wise let's say i let me show you say for example you can see 11 7 2019 11 7 is going to be 4 which means thursday but we have given only 8 days 1 to 8 it should be on 9 why it is not so because it has taken 6 and 7 to be a non-working day saturday and sunday is a non-working day so it has started 1 2 3 4 and 5 6 7 and 8 days so it has taken starting from 2nd to 5th again it has taken from 8th to 11th as a 8 working days to complete this particular project this is what you will be able to do let's say let me go here work day the start date is 2nd and i am giving 4 days and again you are expecting 4 plus 2 should be 6 let's see because still this is in this particular format let me go and look at the long date now you can see 8th of july but what you have expected you expected it should get over on c8 is second 2 plus 4 should be 6 again why not because 6 and 7 it has taken as a weekend so if at all you start on this particular day 1 2 3 4 and the project gets over on particular day of 8th it will get over so it has taken 4 days this is the main important reason that we need to work with the workday function but make sure you go to the number let's say in this scenario i'm just going here and formatting it forever let's say this particular column is going to be a long date for me i'm just taking workday function i'm going to this particular start date or let's say this particular start date comma 10 days i'm taking close the bracket and i will be able to complete this project on 7th of july 2019 and you can see this particular number references a date and not a general if at all you come across with the number just go and change it here now that we have got to know what is a weekday week number and work day what is this day function and when you are not comfortable with this 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 the return type i would suggest you to look at the day function what exactly the day function performs here i'm not going to use a day function here but i'm going to use a text function because we want this to be in terms of a days text open what is the value that you are looking for this value comma i'm going to use a double quotes and 4d close the bracket it's a monday i can hear that why did i use d d d d this is what you wanted to find out okay let me go and explain what happens with the single d what happens with the double d what happens with the triple d and finally what happens with the four times d okay let me go here what is that you are using text function what is the value this particular value comma i'm using only one d so when i close the bracket you will be able to see four what happened okay let me go to the next one then you will be able to understand let me go to the next row and explain you equal to text function open the bracket this particular date is the value comma what is the format text it's going to be double d close the bracket and click enter you can see zero five here it was four it's zero five again text open the bracket this particular one comma three times d close the bracket and see this comes sat text function open the bracket value comma four times d close the bracket sunday yes when you refer with the single d it's just going to get you the weekday when you refer it with 2d it adds a leading zero to it when you give 3d it takes it as a text of sat three letters you get it and 4d it fetches you the complete one let's say let me go and perform this one here text function value comma format text td dt four times close the bracket and click at the monday i hope you have enjoyed the video thanks for watching stay tuned for more such videos see you soon